Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, I've been away for four days attending a conference in Orlando, Florida, but I came back on Thursday and this morning being Saturday, uh, June 10th, um, I was able to go into the garden and harvest some vegetables. And as you can see, my table is just completely covered. Guys, this is the kale that I've harvested. Um, there's some on the tray and because it was uh, so much, um, I just sat them on the sides of the table here. But you can see this is an abundance of kale that I could use to cook um, as a leafy green. I can use it to juice, just whatever I want to do with it. Um, I also enjoy uh, eating the kale in my omelets. Um, over here, guys, is my mustard greens. And these are the last of the mustard greens. But as you can see, this is a nice size bunch of greens here, guys, that I can use uh, to make a meal, and I'm thinking about cooking it today. Um, over here is some garlic that I've harvested, and I didn't take all of them out, but I did go on and harvest some of them. And so what you see here is uh, my elephant ear garlic, and look how big and beautiful that is, guys. Some are, of course, the elephant garlic, you know, are really big, um, but the regular garlic, some of them are like this, you know, they're smaller in size. And of course, the elephant ear garlic produce these little babies, and they are going to go back into the garden in the fall. But this is my harvest of garlic so far, and I still have more to harvest, but I'm waiting for it to turn a little yellow um, before I harvest it. And then also, guys, this is uh, eggs that were collected for about three days. Uh, because the fourth day that I came back from the trip, uh, even to now, I haven't gotten the eggs uh, from the coop. But the girls are laying beautifully. So this is another food supply here on the homestead. And guys, would you look here? This is my very first harvest of lettuce. And I've added a few spinach leaves in here as well. But I'm looking forward to having a nice salad today. Again, around the table here, I have some bok choy. And the bok choy is just absolutely beautiful. Um, this is uh, considered like a Chinese cabbage, but I love to use it in stir fries and other uh, dishes. Uh, over here, guys, this is my squash. And out of all of the years that I've been gardening, I've never had this much squash at one time. And there are still plenty more babies on the plant that's yet growing. So I'm really excited about that. Over here, guys, this is my uh, bunch of collard greens. And they are really absolutely beautiful. And uh, these I'm going to cook as well. I uh, probably won't cook these today because I'm going to do the mustard greens today. But on another day, I'll be cooking these collard greens with some smoked turkey. And over here is my Swiss chard. And I really could have harvested, I'm going to throw this one away. I really could have harvested more of the uh, Swiss chard, but I don't need it all just yet. But still, this is yet another beautiful harvest. And I think I'm going to use this in an Italian dish. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, Alfredo or if I'm going to use it in lasagna. But this is my harvest, guys, uh, as of June 10th of 2023. And another thing I want to share with you is that on yesterday, I went to a garage sale and happened to find this little uh, uh, food processor because I will be taking that garlic and putting it through the food processor and putting it in a jar with some oil and storing it in the refrigerator. I was told it can last for about six months. And that way I'll have some minced garlic already on hand, fresh from my garden here on the homestead. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed watching my beautiful harvest. And I hope that it will inspire someone to begin to grow their own food. God bless. Bye-bye.